Hi, a floss tube. It's Margaret of Creative Madness Mama. Today is Thursday, May 4th. Um, we just got back from the library. That's why this is later today. And uh, at least two of my four children were wearing Star Wars shirts, and there's a cute little picture of that on Instagram if you're so inclined to see. So yesterday, my project was a Mill Hill kit, Stitch in Time. This is a Buttons and Beads kit from the Spring series. It is the first Buttons and Beads kit that I have done. It's the first Mill Hill kit that I've worked on. And I had forgotten what it was like to organize unkitted floss, or I mean kitted floss with no labels, but well organized there and I got a decent amount done. Uh, let's see, I guess it goes like that. So there we go. So this is what I did yesterday for Stitch Mania Day 3. Today is day 4 and I don't know what to do. I just sat down. I'm going to get some stitching done. And so I would love some opinions. See if anybody wants to give me something. So last week I finished the first page of the Fabulous Women in History. And I was thinking about going on and doing these two ladies that would go right here. Because I have the whole pattern now. And I'm going to make a couple substitutions and whatnot as well. But I could go on and work on my time traveler. This one is Joan Elliott. I'm sorry. This is Cloud's Factory, Fabulous Women in History. This is the time traveler. This is a Joan Elliott. Both of those fabrics, both that one and this one, are fantasy dyed fabrics. There is also Enchanted Aurora. This is another Joan Elliott. And it is kind of a stormy day outside, so maybe that would be a good one to work on. Vibrant colors on that stormy fabric. I believe that's a Jobelin. Um, Twilight Mist is the name that comes to mind right now. Or I could work on my Lakeside Needle Crafts Fantasy Cell. So far, I have January and February, my conversion of the mermaid for My Little Mermaid Warrior. A whole lot more border to do, more border and stuff. Um, this is one of my choices. This is a Threadworks. Um, I could get that number out if anybody's curious in that one, but I love, love how it brings in all the different designs. And then there's My Little Witch. That's the first one that I did. I, I started in October when this uh, sow was going on. And then I did these two earlier this year and then kind of lost steam. But I could jump back into that one. Or I could jump back into this one. This is Joan Elliott. This is a year of magical stitches or magical stitching. It's, it's one or the other. But you can buy this. This is a magazine chart a long time ago but you could buy this one directly from Joan so I'm ready to to do the third one over there or I could pop down here and do April instead or I, I guess I could even go here and do May but um, so I'd have to pull that little chart booklet back out and again this is a fantasy dyed fabrics this is a lavender sunset and that's my surging, my horrible, horrible surging job. Sorry. Oh, here's a new one. This is as far as I've got. This is my first soda stitch. And look, there you go. Mixed berry Jobelin. Jobelin is obviously my favorite. And I'm obviously using a hoop on that one. But so I could jump back into fairy tale land. I was trying to do this as part of the stitch along group on Facebook. But I've gotten distracted and gone different directions. But I need to jump back into that. Let's see. Oh, nope. That's my working copy stuff. And that's what I got. That's it. So yesterday, and what should I work on today? I'd love to hear what you have to say. So that is it for me. And I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.